Today we learn about your most intimate sleeping habits. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. One of the things that I am sincerely really grateful for about myself okay. is that I rarely, if ever, have trouble falling asleep. Yes, and that makes me jealous and angry and of course keeps me up all night. Ironic. Along with it being too hot or my wife making a weird sound like <gasps> sometimes like that, like <laughs> shit. In I mean, the middle of the you night. You never know what's Why, gonna come out of that woman's asleep? mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or I can't stop thinking about the time a waiter said, enjoy your dinner, and I responded with, you too. Oh, oh yeah, oh. okay, you can get in your own head right before you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. But everybody pretty much has some kind of special habit yes. to help them get into sleepy land, and today we're gonna find out which might be the most common or uncommon uh, according to you, it's time for. We all do strange things to fall asleep, like do you hug your two dogs and then quietly weep? I do. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's how this game no, works. Great. We survey mythical beasts about some of the things people need or need to do in order to fall asleep, and you voted based on what you actually do when it's time to go nighty night. Mm -hmm. So this gave us a ranking of the most common bedtime habits. So now we're gonna see if we can put them in the right ranked order, and you get to find out how weird you are in the way that you fall asleep. We're gonna be working together to place it on the board of sleeping habits based on how you voted, number 10 being the least common with the least votes, and number one being the one that got the most votes, meaning it's the most common yeah. pre-sleep routine. That's usually how most common works. And Chase, our brainy research assistant, has already put three spots up there on the board, locked them into place. Thank you, Thank Chase. you Chase. Number nine, must have back against wall. You start of sleeping standing up? <laughs> I think it means like you're sleeping on your side, but you're, the, you're facing, the wall, you're facing, facing the anybody room. who can come in. Yeah. Number seven, must have legs crossed. Oh, that's mm, I don't know interesting. If, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't, I don't cross my legs. I, do, might get, I cross my feet. You might get testicular torsion. Torsion. Oh, don't, do don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't ever say that. No. <laughs> Number five, must have TV on. Ooh, that's bad. You don't want that blue light in your mm -hmm. sleep. And the sound. Yes. My mama does that. All right, if we get seven out of 10 of these correct, uh, we're gonna get tucked in for a good night's sleep. Oh, okay, well let's see our first intimate sleeping habit. Oh, all this is retro. How to fall asleep. Oh my. After a long day of switchboard switching and factory things, <laughs> this lovely couple is ready to get some much needed shut eye. But oh no, it's far too warm. You can't possibly fall asleep unless you see your own breath. Let's turn down the thermostat. Oh, Christy does it. There, is it that better? Every night. Of course, we don't sleep in separate beds. Yes. That's an old time. Uh, yeah. Uh, that happens as you get older. Okay. My grandparents slept in separate beds. No. In the same room. What? I want to watch that sitcom. Never yeah, watched. yeah. I'm very interested in this couple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not, a, not a lot of great dialogue, though. This is super common. I. Well, and I'm not just saying that because I do it because I've just found that if it's cold, yeah. first of all, I've woken up many times and the reason that I woke up was Sweaty. it was too hot. And so, and actually research shows that you're, you need to have it down at like in the low 60s to get a good night's sleep. I love for it to be cold and then to be under all those covers, man. This could be number one. But would they start with number one? Would they do that no, to us? No, they wouldn't do that to us. Maybe it's number three. Number three is what I was feeling. All right, let's, we're gonna put it at number three for now. We can switch it later, of course. All right, let's see the next one. You've been wearing clothes all day in the factory doing factory things. You don't wanna be weighed down with buttons and sleeves. Bedtime is a time to let loose. Oh God. <laughs> Very loose. Now, doesn't that feel like freedom? <laughs> Too much eye contact, oh, Chris. Yeah, Pantry. <laughs> like, you really sunk into it. A li just one too many sinks. Just <laughs> oh, David Hill was out on the, on this on this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want his eye contact either. Though. I no know, offense, Chris. Now I know you have specific uh, feelings about this because I will fall asleep fully nude. nude. Uh, it depends on what the pre bedtime activities are. 
So depending on how that went, sometimes I'll be like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna go to sleep, and then I, I won't. Sometimes you just are, you just find yourself asleep. Yeah, right. And so this is probably, I mean, how often? I mean, how many nights out of the week? I don't know. This is probably six nights out of the week for me. <laughs> uh, no, I would just say that this isn't uncommon for me. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. You I got to put on your t-shirt. I got to put on the clothes. You have to put. You put on a t-shirt, right? Yeah. It's a t-shirt, and what's on Bo the bottom? Boxers. Box and, and what? You got socks? No socks. Uh uh. And a little socks. fully nude man. A when, little hat. When my or a little hat. When my skin is. I don't wear hats. Little when hair my, hat. When my skin is against skin, like when my legs are. When, when my when the the crotch part of my legs is against each other. The thighs they call that. Yeah. Then that it might get a little. What's the crotch part of my legs again? Might get a little damp. You know. Uh. Or the arm against the side. Like all of this, like skin on skin stuff. I would think that most people need to have something on. Let's I, put this at 10. All the way at 10? I was thinking maybe okay. eight, but I mean. Let's go eight. Eight, I, I agree with that. There's gotta be something that's I've a little tried bit it, more but I just keep it. waking up and like my body's telling me to wake up and put oh, on you clothes. You tried it? I've tried it. I mean, it's like, it sounds. You're like, Today, tonight's the night. Anything <laughs> nude, I, I like the idea of it. Anything. Well, I could think of some things like. Let's see, in, like weed eating? Yeah, you don't, like, yeah. don't want to cut the grass nude. All right, let's see another one. This lady also enjoys sleeping fine and free of garments. <laughs> what the? Except, of course, for one small detail. She keeps on her socks and never exposes her surprisingly large but very ladylike feet. Keep those big kahunas covered, lady. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Emily got naked too. Yep, must be nude with Emily socks and Chris, on. Emily, Chris, getting naked. So th this is very specific. Good mythical morning. This has got to be less common than someone who's fully nude, because you're saying I thought that socks on might be one. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like in addition to whatever you've got on, but if you have to be nude, except your socks. That's wild, man. This has got to be number ten. Do you ever sleep with your socks just in general on? Uh uh. Me neither. No. How do, how do you how do you go about it, Chase? What's your uh, are you are you ever nude? No, I typically just do like boxer shorts or like sleep shorts. Um, You're only nude in our office. Correct. Yeah, for yeah, photo yeah. ops. For photo ops or just like, you know, to go and think, meditate. Right, right, know, right. Naked thinking. Me. Yeah. So we have to put this below fully nude, which makes it has to be number two. We're saying that this is the least common one. So we're so as these but next we ones might come out. We're going to move those up as a unit. Just don't forget that. Yeah, yeah. I won't. Nude with socks on, less common than fully nude. Write that down. So what's, what's gonna happen next with this couple? Are they I ever gonna know. go to sleep? I am intrigued. <laughs> Not everyone has to cover up their big giant lady feet. This gentleman likes hanging his little piggies outside the covers in the open air. Mmm, breezy. This is insane. <laughs> no, no it's not. I, d I do this. Really? I throw out a foot. I'll throw out a leg. I'm more likely to want to put socks on than I am to expose my feet. There's something about the feet being the monster. Like, well, especially if, if you've got it to be too cold. I'd much rather like expose, like pull down the covers a little bit and let the pecs come out or something, you know? Like <laughs> let part of so, your. The sardine can? Yeah, right. You peel from the top, not from the bottom. I'm on the left side of the. I'll throw my left leg out for to cool off because I like the covers here, but I like. I, you know that that upper thigh juice. You gotta let that gotta let that cool off. <laughs> but that's not a foot. That's a whole leg. Okay, you're right. But if it seems like it might be more common than Feet being get nude hot. with socks on. Feet get hot. This is common. Four. Four. I'm four. Okay, I'm staying out of this one. Seems nuts to me. Let's see some more. It is. You may be a factory man, but you're never too old to enjoy being swaddled like a baby. Wrap yourself up like a caterpillar mummy baby, my good man. Isn't that a little too tight? Ah, it's so nice to be snug as a bug in a bed. So a burrito like a, like roll? A, a tight roll. Like a mummy. Thing? Must be wrapped in sheets like a mummy. I mean, you can't do that with with the partner in the bed with you unless you have your own covers. I've, I mean, I've thought about the separate covers thing. Same bed, separate covers. Because I have a technique for one. Slippery I, slope. I've told my wife about this. I'm like, <laughs> baby, here's what I do when I, I, and she got so mad at me when I explained this. I said, when I roll over, yeah, I li specifically lift the covers and then roll so it doesn't pull. 
And she's like, she looks at me and she's like, because I mean, I mean she, she rolls. She, you're basically giving her a note, a backhanded. A, a, a sleeping note. She'll roll and just pull, pull me over and wake me up, you yeah, know? Like taking, she's yeah. trying to take you with her. What? <laughs> That's yeah, the noise yeah, oh she yeah, when she, yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually make that noise when she does that. I don't think it's that common. I think, I think we're right so there. wrong about so many of these. I think when, when, when uh. it's revealed, all of ours are gonna be wrong, the ones that we put up here. Throw it at six. Gotta put six? it at six. It can't be more common that? than cold. Okay. Right? When I can't sleep, I watch Brendan Fraser's The Mummy. Yep, uh-huh. Okay. That'll put you straight to sleep. That's pertinent. Thanks for adding that. That was, <laughs> that was pertinent. Um, before we go to the next thing, we do wanna add one more thing that's almost as pertinent. Yes. Uh, you've been waiting for the day and this is the day. Uh -huh. Tickets for Mythicon are on sale now. Yes! Including the Mega Beast and Super Mega Beast package. And those sound amazing, but they are amazing. Yes, they also are amazing. <laughs> Listen, and Mythicon is amazing. It is an entire weekend of mythicality with us in the flesh. We're bringing along the mythical crew as well. It's We're a convention. It's a convention. We're, that's what Con stands Con. for. We're taking over a ranch outside Austin, Texas on Halloween weekend. It's gonna be wild! <laughs> Everything you need to know is at mythicontickets.com, but do not wait because tickets are limited, okay? Limited. Do not wait. Go to mythicontickets.com to make your purchase yes. right now. All right, let's see the next one. Just because you're winding down to bed doesn't mean you should let your guard down. Sleep soundly knowing you're ready for anything because you are facing the door. Look out, intruders, bears, and ghosts. Nothing can get past this little lady. <laughs> okay, Sleeping so- Sleeping with a bat. So this is in addition to or separate from having your back against the wall. In my previous house in the bedroom, my bed, because the bedroom was pretty small and the bed was pretty big, because I'm a big man, the bed was all the way up against two walls. So the back and the side of the bed. And yeah. I was on the side of the bed that was against the wall. So when I got out of the bed at night, I had to crawl go over, over my wife. Yeah, you had to crawl over. Would yeah. you like stand on but the But the way that your leg hang? is, you could just do that. Oh, she easily. never knew. <laughs> Sometimes she would startle me with a. Ooh! As I got <laughs> close to her, but. I, yeah, um, we're really out of whack. This is not number one or number two, but we've got to put it at number two. This is so ridiculous, man. Chase, you're gonna be, you're gonna be hurting when we have to switch these around. <laughs> Do we All get right. anything for being completely wrong? No. All right, let's this watch our last one. Having a fierce protector watching the door doesn't mean you'll always feel safe and secure. Even a factory man needs a little comfort now and then. You need your favorite teddy, Mr. Chunky. And now you're finally ready to hit the hay. Good night, factory man. Good night, Lady Big Feet. And good night, Mr. Chunky. Um, now, I had, I had a Mr. Chunky as a kid. It was a bunny. I had bunny. I had Teddy. And um, last time I went home and visited my mom, I found bunny in a drawer. Because I like to rummage through drawers when I'm back home. And uh, I thought he was gone. Like, I hadn't seen him in 20 years. Well, you know what? Here's I, a picture right know, now. I don't, They're showing a picture I don't collect funny. things, but I have my teddy bear from my first birthday. It, it's still in my house. I mean, I don't sleep with it, but it's in, it's in a drawer in the attic. And I don't have anything from that time in my life, but I've got that teddy bear. Still squeaks. What you? The dogs are now like our comfort items, but ironically, I think they're the reason that we don't get a good night's sleep. These dogs are moving around. So we gotta put the comfort item at number one. Put it at number one. Which, I don't think it's number one, but it's gotta be, I mean, having a comfort item, I think even in adulthood, that must be relatively common. All right, Stevie, let us know how bad we're doing. I mean, you didn't do that bad, actually. So you have to get seven correct, and including the ones that are on the board, you currently have six correct. What? I know. I think you have to work from the top or the bottom. So we have to think, what is the least common? Do you, and if we've got, if we've got three out of these seven right, do you think that we got must be new with socks on being the least common? I think we, that might be right. But mm -hmm. I don't think yeah. that, I don't think that comfort item at number one is correct. I think that. It might be cold. Cold room. room. I think we need to put cold room if at If we're going one. for the gusto, we need to switch. Multiple. Two, to, so there's four new answers. We're going for a queen sweep. So let's put cold room first. Now, what do you think is the next most common of everything that's on? 
I mean, a lot of people have a comfort item, especially amongst the mythical beasts. Do you think you know? more people have a comfort item than need to have the TV on? I think TV oh, yeah. in the, well, TVs are not yeah. as common as TV on computers. can't move, it's locked. Oh, That's true. exactly, that was just a test. Um, <laughs> I think that must be fully nude is higher than it currently is, but I don't think it should be up here at the top, but I think it's more than eight. I think comfort item is number two, actually. Or it could it's be number three. Okay. It's definitely it more common than facing the door, because that's okay. kind of weird, well, right? right? So, so, so must, must move two down to three. I think must be fully nude should replace. You want to move fully nude up? You want to switch it with feet outside covers? No, because I, I think we're moving too much if we do that. I think by Let's putting cold it. room at one and making those, we may have gotten one more and that way we're yeah. gonna be insane. We, we know we can't get the queen suite, but we are locked in, Stevie. Stevie. I wanted to help you so bad. <laughs> do you see how I didn't help you? That was really good of me, right? When I, I didn't was, help you? Yeah. We should have moved up fully nude, right? So you want to start with Let number me, 10? Yeah, we can start with number 10 and then we, we'll, we'll see how many you got. Correct. So number 10, we have sleeping naked with socks on. Yes. Yes. Number nine, we already had on the board, must fall asleep with back against the wall. Number eight, can only sleep facing the door. Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we have right. must be facing door number three. That was a total lame brain move. We shouldn't, I mean, what? Well, you said to move nude up. Mm -hmm. All right. Seven was already on there, sleep, sleeping with your legs crossed. Six, must be wrapped up in sheets like okay. a mummy. Got it. All right, we did good there. Five was already on the board, TV has to be on. Four, feet must be outside the covers. Yes. Three, sleeping fully nude. Yep, should've yep we should have switched those, those two. two. And now the top mm -hmm. two aren't right either. The top two are two, sleeping with a comfort item, and oh, one, the yes. room must be cold. So, so we did get it. Right. You got eight correct. We could have gotten the really clean good, sweet, man. but we backed off. We backed off. We, we should have gone full confidence, man. All right, so you're going to tuck us in, Chase? Is that what we did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still did it. Nice oh. sleeping cap. Oh, that that's. Oh, I feel so tucked. Is that it? No, I think there's more. Good. You guys, uh, feel like you're winding down? Yeah, yeah. I'm so tired. Okay, good. Put this over you. Okay. Right. We like this too much. You're gonna have to come to each one of our homes. Okay, say night night to the crew. Night night crew. Night night. Night Stay night. tight. Night night to the mythical beasts. Don't let the bad bugs bite, bite, bite. Shush. That's when you're supposed to tickle me. I don't want to get your energy back up. <laughs> yeah, right. Just close your eyes. And I don't want to be here for you to drift me. off. I'll be right here when you wake up, okay? Thanks for subscribing. It's like that, though. You know what time it is. This is Matt and Darcy in Houston, and I decided to watch GMM quietly this morning so I wouldn't wake Darcy. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Darcy's not happy. <laughs> Sorry, Darcy. Let the top link to discover the dreams our crew members had about us. What? In good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Mythicon tickets are available now. Tickets are limited, so head to mythicontickets.com before it's too late.